big bonefish and permit love crabs and there are crabs literally anywhere and everywhere you fish bonefish and permit whether it be on the flats or lagoons and everybody has a tough time tying crabs um, and there's some great patterns out there but they may take you an hour to tie one our turn of crab is not that way it's very easy to tie durable and it works simply take some furry foam after you've figurated uh, a foundation of your lead eyes or or uh, you know eco-friendly eyes if you will bead chain eyes whatever you want to use for eyes on the front part of the hook and now take a, just a strip of foam however wide you want your finished crab to be and knot that on or tie that on just underneath the point of the the tip of the hook now it's very important that you have a foundation to lay your round rubber legs on to imitate the legs of the crab and that is going to be we're going to anchor our legs to our lead eyes in this case you have to have that platform to put the uh, legs on or they won't they won't seat right and you'll see what I mean here in a second I tie on eight legs four on each side now separate them and you can see what I mean here by putting that platform these legs will lay perfectly on this fly when it's finished now simply take your foam drop forward and tie it off just behind the eye of the hook and that forms the body of the crab if you will now you can either trim it, trim this tag in now and create a head or what I often do is just put a little deer hair this will fold down a little bit over the, the body of the crab and give it almost a mottled look just like that not only will it give a model look, but it also adds as a weed or coral guard, which is important when you're fishing bonefish or permit in weedy areas, turtle grass areas, and that sort of thing. Now go forward to the eye of the hook, whip finish, put a little tension on this, trim it, and now you can see we've formed a really nice little head of the crab. Finally make, trim the legs to the, your desired length. And now what I do is I actually, I'll, I'll go forward with permanent marker and model the legs. You'll never see a crab really with one color leg. They usually have two or three different color modeling colors on their legs. So I'll model this one brown with the red tips. This imitates the... Uh, the fleeing crab. There are several different crab species. And let's see if I can show you what that's going to look like. And there's your, your finished crab. Um, it's a deadly pattern. You can crawl it along the surface or just leave it lay on the bottom. Um, and bonefish and permit love this fly. I've taken a lot of both. I've taken big bonefish and I've taken a lot of permit on this fly.